Hey look, Splatoon 2 is here. Here's a game that's well worthy of selling Nintendo Switch consoles. While it doesn't change much from the original game, there's certainly a lot in here that's mind blowing. In three, two, one. It feels good to be back in the Splatoon world. I really like these new hairstyles. There's really no reason to complain about the lack of like, you know, good voice chat in Splatoon 2 because Discord exists. You now switch between maps and game modes every two hours instead of four. And you aren't sent back to the Squid Sisters every time the maps cycle. While the campaign doesn't change much compared to the first game, the stages themselves have much more variety this time around. I can't get enough of these puns. Keep them coming, guys. I'm not sure why onion, I mean squid rings exist, but now I'm just happy and hungry. I love how the ink now has tiny fragments of glitter inside of it. Something about that is really cool. The new curling bombs and auto bombs are a fun new addition. The campaign's hub worlds are much more interactive this time around. It really doesn't get better than riding on ink rails and shooting. It's nice to see some new ink colors. The ink from the first game got a little old after a while. I'm fighting an oven. Tell me again why this isn't going to be game of the year. The rollers can now throw ink directly in front of them. This change makes this set of weapons much more adaptable. Wait, did you notice that? Why is there so much charm in this game? We can swap out weapons during the campaign. Ah yeah. It's pretty great to see the Miiverse messages returning. The multiplayer options are limited in some ways, but there's always private battles where you can customize everything to your liking. Have I mentioned how fun riding on ink rails is yet? Just when you thought Splatoon 2 had repeated bosses, Octostomp returns but has new forms that actually utilize the Splat Duelies perfectly. The new umbrella weapon is hilarious, useful, and fun all at the same time. What a fresh idea. I love the overdramatic intro when the boss is phased into place now. It's pretty great. The music is really just superior. Almost all the beats are incredibly catchy. Welcome to Badass the Level. You can use the Rainmaker for the final boss? Hell yeah, man! If you don't want to hear Sheldon talk about weapons for 10 years, you can scrub through dialogue now. Salmon Run is a hit. It's so easy to get addicted to this game mode. The controls feel incredibly spot on. Heck, maybe even a bit better than the first game. It's pretty cool to see maps like Moray Towers and Port Mackerel not only return, but get improved upon dramatically. I never thought I'd be excited to play Port Mackerel, but here we are now. Okay, so the Inkjet is basically the flood pack from Mario Sunshine. That's what I'm talking about. The Ink Armor is a much better and more fair version of the bubbler from the first game. It's nice to see some of the new specials are more or less improvements over what's come before. With an amiibo, you can now save your loadout so you don't have to constantly scramble with what you like for each different game mode. If you want to level up faster or get more points, you can use a ticket with Krusty Sean and easily do so. Some people have been complaining about the lack of being able to see the map at any time, but you can. You push a button and it pops up right away, and that's pretty awesome, and you know, I think that's kind of faster and better than looking down at another screen to check the map. The Drop roll or power up allows you to move right after using a super jump, so getting killed from doing this won't always happen now. Most of the maps are much better balanced in general. With ability chunks, you can apply specific abilities to clothing. No more random nonsense. Well, okay, I mean that still exists, but you know what I'm saying. Par usual, this game runs at a smooth 60 frames per second. There's no frame drops to be found anywhere. And did I mention that free DLC is also on the way? Are you mind blown now? If you are, then this video about Mario Kart Arcade GP should do just the trick. It's pretty cool and I think you might get a kick out of it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and let me know in the comments how Splatoon 2 is mind blowing for you. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you have a great day.